So I think it's time to get started. Good evening, everyone. A warm welcome to all the future thinkers who are ready to transform a HR process, unlocking a new level of efficiency and innovation. So today we have Devi Tulsi Raman, Strategic Account Specialist, HCM from Oracle. She comes with an experience of nine years from Nokuri, ADP, and is currently associated with Oracle. Over to you, Devi. Thank you so much, Maha, and uh, very good afternoon to everyone who has joined us today. It's an absolute pleasure to welcome you to the online webinar of key takeaways of the HCM Innovation Workshop that had happened on 19th of July, last Friday at uh, the premises of Oracle Tech Hub. Uh, we really missed you and uh, we hope that in the upcoming events, you will find some time and an opportunity to visit us in person. To give you an overview of what we did and let me also introduce you to the name of the event we had uh, i would say that Covion team had given a very interesting name to the session uh, it was named as revolutionize with gen ai and uh, in collaboration with them we had a very interesting lineup of the events uh, the first session was on uh, on the where Oracle HR leadership had spoken about their journeys. So most of you may know that Oracle uses its own application of HCM. And who could have been the best speakers to talk about Oracle HCM uh, other than the Oracle leadership itself, right? So we had GVP of uh, GVP HR Srihari Beldona and Niranjan jo Joseph, who is also VP of HR at Oracle. And they had shared their key takeaways as the HR users of Oracle HCM. And uh, trust me, it was one of the showstopper sessions of the event. And uh, post that, we had a sub session. I would say that it was more of a panel where the clients of Oracle HCM as well as Covion had shared their journeys as, as our clients. And it consisted of HR leaders from City Union Bank, Emeds, and Arctic. The last and most interesting part of the session was carried out or was very successfully carried out, I would say, by Shiva from Covion and my colleague Ankit. They showcased the demos on Fusion HCM and FDIP respectively. FDIP is Fusion Data Intelligence Platform. So very interesting turnout, a lot of interesting conversations and we will be doing this more often and we look forward to see you in person. Over to you, Maha, and let me know if you want me to cover anything specific other than what I have spoken. Thanks for the Devi. You actually covered a lot of it. <laughs> yes. So let me quickly give you an intro about Covion. Covion is a business transformation and a technology solution partner. Being headquartered at UK, we serve our customers across 43 different countries with 210 plus engagements from five global delivery centers with our 450, sorry, 250 plus employees. We also take the pride to be the first to implement Oracle HCM Cloud in the mid-market bundle. Our key offering to any of our Oracle customers would be the end-to-end -end digital transformation with our expertise in Oracle PeopleSoft, Oracle HCM Cloud, ERP Cloud, and OCI. Talking about our cloud practice, these are our key offerings that we provide to our customers. We do the consulting, implementation, and take it forward to the managed service. With the experience from our previous engagements, we have 60 plus templates, 150 plus usable reports, 100 plus pre-built integrations, with which we will be able to do an agile transformation with the industry's best practice. Now let's listen to our customer talk about the Cloud and Covion. So let me start off. You guys know why. So when we adopted Oracle um, a couple of years ago, uh, we were on disparate systems. And therefore, we needed uh, one source of truth, a single source of truth, and Mr. Shreed was talking about. Um, and that's why we sort of adopted Oracle. When you think about implementing um, a tool like this, but I think my honest submission to you guys who are thinking about getting into that journey would be call itself an organization transformation. But allowing an organization to adopt a tool like this will allow you to open uh, the organization. In today's world where everyone wants personalized service, uh, we 
we are not dealing with homogeneous set of 3,000 employees. We are dealing with homogeneous set of employees. Everybody has different needs. Everybody comes to work for a different reason. Everybody loves different things. Everybody learns different things. So, so in, a, in, a, in a world which is very, very personalized, it's important to be as open as possible and as transparent as possible so that they pick what they need. So, so I think one of the things that So let me start uh, to so we are basically when we look at Oracle and we have people of as well. So Oracle uh, is new for us. Uh, we went to Oracle Cloud for the India event in 2021. And uh, uh, we have HCM, we have ERP for the Oracle for the India event. And uh, that's how uh, things start from ORC for us. ORC for corporate users, personal contractors as well. And then we go into the web cloud. And we have built this uh, link with the Oracle DPM and here. So that's how the margins work. Whenever we hire somebody on board, we get somebody on board, we look at the cross margin, we start the assignment. So each person for us, the business model I'm trying to explain, each person for us is a different assignment. Is it, we get a different purchase or a product line for each person. That's how the startup industry works. And that's how we manage our assignments. How the person onboards, how much time it is really important about the time to onboard somebody that's where AI is also coming. So lot many options that Sri Hari and Angel spoke about, they have a lot of relevance in recruitment, specifically impacting our industry. Uh, basically when we match a CV, a match a resume to a job description, the right job descriptions. It, that has become easier. And uh, outside of Oracle also we are, you know, uh, diving into AI in a lot of other tools that we are using for our improvements. So that's where the job description, uh, the creation of it has become easier. The matching of it with the actual opening has become easier. And that's where we want to go as a company. That's where that's the goal that we want to achieve as a company. How we can use these tools provided by Oracle uh, to look at how AI can help us achieving our goal faster, doing better margins in lesser time. Uh, time is of the essence. Right? So that's where we are uh, Just to give up, uh, I don't know about the whole of life. Started as a Swedish woman, uh, 20 years back, and uh, the technology really didn't sound like it, but we say uh, because we were uh, first in adopting you know, the AI based uh, technologies and IOTs to launch uh, products for the customers. So, coming to HR, in fact, uh, to be honest, I've been from IT background before and coming back to back, uh, I I was working with uh, SAP HR and uh, uh, one day, so I was thinking whether well, really NCR will suit bank because always banking is a bit complex compared to any other organization, being in the IT or the manufacturing or any sector. I don't know whether I'm right. So we need to, you know, uh, have multiple partners in each job, you know, struggling with me for, uh, for some time. <laughs> Asking for very unique requirements. Uh, thanks to Kovaya last one for our Of course, we implemented the LMS in 2021 uh, and then we adopted both each other. And, uh, we were uh, implementing with a uh, different partner, but I think uh, we started all again you know, by uh, doing a re implementation with Kovaya because it's a successful journey. And uh, we did automation with RPA for many of the areas. In IT and in our there is potential to automate many other uh, you know, functions of HR, including HCM and uh, uh, other tools. So I think NA is going to be very interesting. We are also evaluating for other other business areas. Which are, which are, which are, normally, people don't give much importance, especially in sector like banking. So, automating the HR process. I think. That's why I said you're an early adopter of HCM Cloud, sir. Yes. Because um, you are very exclusive in having your HR data, especially banking with an Oracle of the cloud. They have been early adopters. Like, like what you said, uh, we've also had 
uh, other uh, providers that uh, that uh, you know, held our hands and tried taking us through the last path. We couldn't. Uh, for their reason, our reason, whatever the reason is, uh, I think the outcomes were not what we And provide uh, uh, to do it. Uh, we have a fantastic relationship with them. We understand us, we understand our business. Um, uh, and then there are really nice set of people. The only things you know which uh, we need from HR, so those things we could not achieve with the possible, but I think Boya helped us, um, you know, integrating uh, our internet, uh, you know, internal system with uh, in the Oracle HCM, I think that was a good one. I think with Oracle Fusion, uh, I think it's it's modular enough, flexible enough to be able to meet most of your sensible asks. Uh, and I'm saying sensible with a lot of Nonsensible, that's the word. Um, ask also comes from our business leaders, our HR leader. I don't want to put myself away from the job. Um, so I think it's, it's, it's modular enough and flexible enough for you to meet. There are enough themes available to be able to play around and add a new feed, a new video product, whatever you want to call it, whatever you, want to call it, whatever you need, kind of stuff. And then finally, you have the provide team. In, in, in our case, they are co located, uh, so you can grab somebody by the collar and get them done. I'm just kidding. Uh, most, of them, most, of them, most of them are women, so you can't do it. And very sweet promoting women, so you can't do it. Uh, but yeah, they are, they are working with us as part of our extended team, and therefore they understand the challenge. Uh, and therefore, they and, and they are working in a, in, a, in a dying mode, they're working together with us, so they are not. Going to create something and then two days later we figure out it's not working. Right? So they're working with us, so that helps us to sort of get to the solution, get to the answer faster, quicker, better. Thanks, Atish. A quick check with the audience who have joined us today. Yes. You were able to follow on what was shared. We are sorry that it is not of the great quality because. It was an open room and we have tried to capture the important conversations. Thank you. Yeah. So I want to take a moment here to thank all our customers who you know, uh, take the, took their time to in, better, uh, in between their busy schedule to make this event a better success. Thanks to the customers. And moving forward, uh, so... So let me start. Yeah. So today we have Shiva Shankari, a certified Oracle HCM Cloud Advisor with 15 years of experience. She is also a Prince to certified practitioner with expertise in Oracle HCM Cloud, Talio, and PeopleSoft, who would guide us through the various DNA features. So today's session is going to be an interactive session, and we encourage every one of you to post your questions in the Q&A, and we'll answer them as soon as possible between the sessions as well. Yeah. Over to you, Shiva. Yeah. Thank you, Maha. Hope you can see my screen. Yeah. Yeah. So let's have a quick glimpse about the Gen AI uh, to have an understanding on how it is differentiated from the traditional AIs. Gen AI excel at creating the original content and solutions by leveraging deep le uh, learning modules. It provides assistance in authorizing suggestions and summary, which will help the workforce, uh, which includes employees, managers, and other administrators to spend that time and energy on high value add activities. And the Gen AI features, whatever we are going to see in the session, uh, that doesn't need any separate license to enable it. And no customer data is going to be used uh, to train the LLM models of Gen AI. Let's have a sneak peek into the AI use cases. So for today's session, uh, we on a higher level, we have classified into three categories. One is uh, uh, the customer uh, candidate experience. The second one is the recruiter experience and the third one is the employee and the manager self-service. And with respect to the candidate experience, we will be seeing what are the various Gen AI features available for a candidate when he is trying to apply for a job in the organization. Similarly, for a recruiter, uh, we can see the what are the various Gen AI features which will help the recruiter in identifying the talents and to fill the open requisitions. Job recommendation. Uh, so this feature will uh, will uh, help the candidate uh, by recommending jobs based upon the job profile of the candidate. 
and this feature is available in the career side job fit you can see a fitment score which is getting displayed in the screen so this fitment score uh, will be displayed to the candidate whenever he is trying to apply for any job so this facilitates the candidate to take better decision when he is trying to apply for any job in the organization and these fitment scores are displayed based upon the requisition profile and the candidate job profile similar job so the genai will display the list of jobs based upon the candidate preference uh, displays what are the similar such jobs which will fit to the candidate's uh, job profiles and here comes the recruiter experience uh, time to hire so for any recruiter uh, the major challenge is to identify the time to close any given requisition estimated time to hire so this feature will help the recruiter in getting the estimates about the time it will take to make a first hire for any job requirement and here the ai uses the matching algorithm to estimate the time based upon previous similar job requisitions suggested candidate so the next challenge for any recruiter is to identify the talent for any requisition uh the so the recruiter needs to go to the talent pool and search for the requirement but with the suggested candidate the system itself will display the candidates based upon the candidate skill set and the rec recruitment job profile jd job posting ai assist uh this is a recruiter experience so our ai powered assistant will help the uh, recruiter in auto generating the job description based upon the job profile creation of smart goals so this ai assistance is uh, available for the employee self service so whenever the employee is trying to add any goal into the goal plan the ai assistance will help the employee in, in uh, aligning his goals uh, with align with the job profiles and organization expectations feedback ai assistance so this is again applicable to the employee self service where uh, the ai assist will help in creating a customized message uh, whenever an employee is trying to give a feedback to his uh, peers or uh, coworkers or his direct reports manager performance summary ai assist so this ai will summary summarize all the uh, feedbacks whatever a candidate whatever a employee has received against a particular uh, review period or a performance document so uh, during the performance appraisal cycle this ai will reconcile all the feedback and give a summary to the manager survey assistant so this will help the managers uh, even the hr administrators to create on the fly surveys the ai assist will create the survey uh, with single click so these are the few uh, use cases which is uh, frequently asked i mean frequently asked from a customer uh let's have a hands on demo on all the use cases whatever we have seen now and just to add what shiva is showcasing even though the generative ai is writing for you or typing for you it doesn't push it to use the same write up so you always have an option of editing it as per your convenience so it is it works more as a supporter and you lead it from from the front yeah i just wanted to share that shiva over to you yeah thanks devi so i'll be sharing the credentials of the demo instance uh with everyone in the via the chat so you can access the system in parallel with me so i have shared two urls one will be the career site url and another one will be the application you are in and also i'll be sharing you a, a dummy profile which will help you when i'm taking you through the demo yeah let's start the demo so this is the career site so i would request everyone to uh, use the same url and then try to log in 
so that it will be an experiential demo for you. So whatever Shiva is telling, you can parallelly do and experience by yourself. Post this, uh, you can try it on your own. It will be valid for some time. You know, uh, so some days it will be valid and we will let you know on that. Yeah, over to you, Shiva. Yeah, thanks, Atish. You can see there are close to 45 jobs available in the job board. So whenever any candidate tries to apply for a job, going through all the 45 jobs and identifying the job it will fit for his requirement will be a tedious job. So to elevate the experience of the candidate, uh, we have a feature which is job recommendation. The candidate just needs to upload his resume. Then the AI will help him with the job recommendations. You can see the job count has been shortlisted to 12 and uh, all these jobs whatever getting displayed here is aligned with the, uh, the job profile of the candidate which is getting parsed based upon the uh, resume which is uploaded by the candidate. The candidate can view all the jobs and he can apply for any job from the job board. If you have any, uh, if you have any, I mean, uh, challenges in accessing the instance, uh, please uh, drop a note in the comment box. Our team will get in touch with you. So you can see the job fitment. Uh, so this helps the candidate in identifying the fitment towards his uh, uh, job profile with the organization uh, requirements. So this helps the candidate in uh, uh, in taking better decisions whenever he is trying to apply for any job in the organization. And in the same can uh, in the same uh, uh, site, we can see the a, a Google Map view where the candidate can see the location where and all the job is available. And we have another feature which is similar job. So this helps the candidate in identifying the similar set of jobs which will fit into his uh, job requirements. So I'm applying a job as a candidate. So as a candidate, if he needs to apply for any job, uh, there are a lot of fields he needs to fill into the system. Name, uh, qualifications, experience, everything. So this consumes a lot of time for the candidate when he's trying to apply for any job. So here comes an another feature, resume parsing. The candidate just needs to upload his resume and all the fields will be automatically populated in the application. You can see the name getting populated automatically. Uh, this is a pre-screening question given by the recruitment team, which has to be filled by the candidate. This is a timeline view of the candidate's education and experience detail. You can see the uh, experience details are getting auto-picked from the resume automatically his various experience along with uh, the company names are getting populated and his uh, educational details are getting populated automatically even the language preference uh, will get populated automatically so what preferences so whatever the candidate has given in the resume has uh, populated automatically in the career site a stat shows uh, like 75% of the steps uh, which was previously taken by the candidate in filling a job has been uh, ready, I mean, has, has been uh, reduced drastically with the, by introducing the A features uh, in the career side. So these features, uh, whatever we just saw, like uh, job recommendations, resume parsing, similar jobs, uh, job fitment, 
So these features uh, will elevate the experience of a candidate whenever he is trying to apply for a job in the organization. Let's go into the HCM application where we can witness the recruiter experience. So as a recruiter, I'm going to view the set of requisitions. So you can view the list of all the requisitions. I'm just picking one requisition. As we've seen in uh, one of our uh, use case, uh, the, the first and the major key, uh, key pain area for any, recru uh, any recruiter is to identify the ETA for, uh, for the requisition. So to ease a uh, recruiter's job, we have this feature called estimated time to hire. So this, uh, this feature displays the time it will take to make the first hire for any job requisition. And this uh, days are estimated based upon the previous case studies in the organization. Say like uh, previously, if you have any requisition with the previous set of skills and uh, that has been closed, and this AA will refer those case studies and populate the days. And this helps the recruiter handy in identifying the ETAs for uh, any requisitions. And the next challenge for the recruiter is to identify the talent to match us with the requisitions uh, requirement. Here we have the suggested candidates. So previously, the recruiter uh, needs to go and search into the talent pools with the list of skills, whatever has been requested by the hiring manager. But with this feature uh, in the requisition screen itself, the recruiter can view the list of all the candidates who has a matching profile with the uh, requisition. You can see a pictorial representation of uh, fitment will be displayed based upon various verticals like a profile, education, experience and the skill. With a single click, the recruiter can view the candidate profile uh, from the rec requisition page directly. So the candidate profile, uh, he can able to view it. And he can add the candidate directly into the requisition with a single click. So these two features will help the uh, will help the recruiters uh, in identifying the right talent for any requisition. Let's uh, see the use cases of uh, employee self services. So I'm into the employee self service page. We are going to see the feature connection. Connection is uh, like a digital directory where uh, any person uh, or any employee can search for his co-workers or uh, peers in the organization. They can able to view the basic profile of the employee. We call it as a connection profile. So a beautiful cascaded uh, view of the employee's info will be displayed to the, uh, the person who is looking for. So this displays the path's uh, information like uh, his organization structure, the basic infos like his job, department, business unit, and uh, his bio, his skills, and his experience with respect to the organization. And finally, the feedback column. So this column displays the feedback which uh, Pat has received from his uh, uh, co-workers and peers from the organization. Since I logged in as Curtis, I can able to give a feedback to Pat via this page. So while giving a feedback, even I can set the visibility who should see the feedback, whether everyone can see or it should be visible only to the managers or managers are Pat. I can play with the feedback and I can give the feedback. As soon as I give the feedback, we can see the feedback got displayed in the PAT screen. So this feedback will be displayed to everyone whomsoever is going to visit PAT screen. We have another interesting feature uh, with the connection, which is uh, Skill Center. Via here, uh, 
any employee can endorse the skills of any employees in the organization so let's assume uh, i know a uh, pat is good with uh, accountability so i can endorse his skill and even i can give a rate rating to his skill as soon as i endorse his skill the skill will start to appear in pat screen and this number displays the number of uh, employees who has endorsed the skill you can see the person name who has endorsed so this feature is similar to the features available in the linkedin where any user can go to any user's profile and they can endorse the and they can endorse their skill so these kind of features uh, will help the employees to engage and collaborate better with their coworkers the next feature uh, which is uh, goals the gen ai assistance for employees in creating the smart goals the major challenge for the talent management team is to aligning the goals to the employees based upon their uh, functions uh, business units departments or the job profiles so to ease their job the gen ai features has the suggested goal options which displays the goals automatically in the employee profile based upon the employee's job profile so all these goals are displayed directly from the library whenever the employee is trying to add a goal either he can choose the goal from the goal library or else he can add his own goal as well i'm just scrolling down to show whenever i'm an employee need to add a goal all the fields will be empty so i'm adding a goal and here comes the gen ai assist so this ai will help the employee in auto populating the additional information for the goals and also it auto populates the measures or the guidelines whatever the employee has to follow in accomplishing the goals so this uh, helps the employees and also the talent management team to align the goals better with the employees so this will help the organization to show the big picture to the employees about their organizational policies with respect to the talent management and skill development let's see the gen ai feature for manager in the same talent management so we do have a similar feature which is available for manager uh, to save his time during the appraisal cycle i'm going to all in one evaluation it's a kind of single page from where the manager can action on all the performance document whatever uh, he has for all his direct and indirect reports sorry closed it by mistake just opening again all in one evaluation so i'm opening a performance document so from this page the manager can view the comments or ratings whatever the worker has uh, uh, recorded against a performance document so previously you may have any uh, custom reports enabled to view these details uh, but going forward you can leverage the usage of the delivered fields to the managers and hrs to get to know the details 
So as a manager, I'm going to evaluate uh, the employee's uh, performance document. You can review the uh, goals in the goal center. I'm going to give a final summary in the performance document as a manager. So here comes the AA assist. So this populates all the feedbacks, whatever the employee has received against the performance document. In our previous use case, uh, we would have seen a functionality feedback, which an employee has uh, given to any workers. So feedback, we have two kinds of feedback. One is the open feedback and another one is feedback against the performance document. So this A will, uh, will consider only the feedbacks, whatever has been documented against the performance document. So all the feedbacks has been uh, reconciled by the AA assist and summarized and displayed to the manager automatically. Again, the manager uh, has a, a access to edit the feedback, whatever the AA has given here. So the manager can overwrite the feedback as well. So this feature saves the manager time uh, during the performance evaluation. So this AA assist to auto-populate the, the summary of the performance document. Similarly, we do have a, another AA assist, which will help the manager to populate the comments based upon the ratings. So I'm just going to rate one of the KPI for this uh, uh, employee. I'm going to rate him as a uh, skill and uh, a assist. So this populates the comments automatically based upon the uh, the rating given by the manager. So to ease the manager uh, manager's job. Uh, during the performance evaluation cycle, two kind of Gen AIs are available. One is uh, auto-populating the comments based upon each and every uh, rating against the KPIs. And another one is summarizing the feedback uh, which was received by the employee against the performance document. The next feature for the manager is uh, creating feedbacks on the fly. I mean, creating surveys on the fly. So creating a survey is an existing functionality. Uh, any manager can go and either he can copy from an existing survey and create a survey. The new introduction is Gen AI into it. The manager just needs to uh, write the survey name and click on AA Assist. You may think nothing is happening, but if you scroll down, you can see the AA has already started to work for the manager. Yeah, here comes the suggestions. The AA Assist has uh, populated the instructions, the survey name, and also it displays, uh, it I mean, it generated the questions for the survey. And the manager has the full access uh, to edit or delete the survey questions, whatever has been uh, auto-generated by the AA. And even he can uh, add his own question or he can reorder the question however he wants. So the manager has the full uh, control over the survey, which is created by the AA Assist. I'm just saving the survey to preview it. So before launching the survey, the manager can uh, see the preview, how the survey will be displayed to the end user post it is getting launched. So work-life balance, these are the instructions. And it will, these are the questions like how many hours do you typically work in a week? Uh, 
with various options and how often do you work on the weekend so all these questions are completely customizable the manager can choose the dates and also if any reminder has to be set yes he can choose the reminders and uh, since we are using a hr specialist login you can able to see multiple options like the survey can be either launched to a single person or to the entire organization or to the uh, direct reports so i'm going to launch it to a direct report i mean direct report is of a particular manager so here i just need to choose the person i'm going to choose pat miller so within a single click uh, this survey will be launched to the all the direct reporters of pat miller's hierarchy so considering the time uh, we are uh, i mean we are closing the demo session now uh, we do have multiple interesting features available with the gen ai uh, for any questions uh, please feel free to post it in our q and a box all our queries will be discussed at the end of the session thank you over to you maha thanks a lot you are thanks for uh, driving us through this demonstration it was very useful and yes uh, so this exclusive webinar is to give a uh, first hand experience for all our customers and uh, the credentials that shiva shared will be available for our customers to you know uh, play around for a couple of weeks and if you may face any hiccups please feel free to reach out to your respective uh, csms or the sales reps so that we can assist you any time yeah uh, so as we said like uh, we'll cover the q and a at the end of the session and to move forward with to talk about our uh, experience in redwood migration we have redwood certified and oracle genie certified resources who are currently working on migrations for two of our customers as we speak and we do have a tentative adoption plan in which uh, we would be doing a two week free poc followed by migration of the base modules in next four weeks so this will be a sprint wise uh, delivered module which will be following the project life cycle and uh, every module will be having its own uh, hypercare support of 2 weeks and if you are a customer who is looking for a big bang approach we also have an adoption plan for you as well so we would be like uh, we would be interested to discuss about it offline and uh, we can take it anytime when you are available so being that said uh, i'll quickly move to the key and a session uh, yeah shiva so we do have a couple of questions uh let me read them out for you okay. yeah so the first question is uh is redwood ui mandatory for incorporating the gen ai features i'll repeat is redwood ui mandatory to incorporating the gen ai features yes maha thanks for the question yes uh, it is a mandatory prerequisite uh, to opt in for the gen ai features so currently uh, i mean most of our customers will be in 23b uh, they will be already using the responsive pages so we may need to migrate from the current responsive pages uh, into the redwood pages post that we can start adopting the gen ai features whatever we have showcased in uh, today's call and all this adoption has to be done before 25a yeah thanks for the shiva so i have another question so what are the business benefits of redwood ui and gen ai features <laughs> yeah which is precisely what we discussed and uh, so far in the demo session so the use cases whatever we have seen all those will be enabled uh, as a part of the gen ai uh all the features whatever we discuss like uh, adding a smart goals which will save the employees time and reconciling the summary that will save the managers time so basically this will uh, help uh, all the workforce in the organizations uh, to automate their day to day uh, i mean uh, jobs so that they can uh, use their efforts effectively in other uh, productive activities 
uh, i hope that answer the question so moving forward uh, is gene enabled for all customers irrespective of the fact if you have subs subscribe forward or not i mean we separately need to enable it how does it work i'll repeat is a gene enabled for all customers irrespective of the fact if you have sus subscribed to it or not i mean do we have to enable it separately how does it work yeah uh, no, no i mean no separate license is required i think uh, in in my first slide about genai i have put a point exclusively for it so if you have procured that module then the genai whatever is available in that module will be enabled for you post enabling the red red dot pages oh, i hope uh, it answered your question yeah to, so, to, to answer to the question no no separate license is required yes yeah. So the next question is from uh, Salim, and it is: Do we need to be familiar with GenAI before using the tools? I'll repeat: Do we need to be familiar with GenAI before using the tools? Yes, uh, some kind of uh, uh, training has to be needed for the users on how to use the GenAI. Probably you can get in touch with the with your uh, uh, support. supporting team so as a part of uh, the uat or the train the trainer session they will give you the uh, the trainings on how these features can be effectively utilized we have another question uh, which hc modules have gene ai now okay so in today's demo we have showcased the modules on uh, orc uh, which is oracle recruiting cloud uh, core hr and talent management uh, i hope you answer that question as well so uh, the next question is how long will be the pos for the customers and so i just i would like to add to what shiva is saying yeah, um, so in addition to that genai is so as of now we have 50 use cases of genai and we will be bringing up more in the coming fiscal year at oracle we every 90 days and i am talking with respect to hcm alone as i represent oracle fusion hcm every 90 days we come up with new features which means that we are very feedback driven and uh, we always stay updated with latest technologies and requirements in the market yeah over to you maha thanks for the deal yeah So the next question was, uh, how long will be the POC for the customers? Okay, so it will be for uh, uh, two to three weeks. Again, it depends upon the uh, the modules uh, and the rate of customizations the the customers is having on their current uh, module. Understood. Uh, so the next question is, does Redwood comes with the cost i'll repeat does redwood comes with the cost no there is no separate cost for redwood we have another question on the poc uh, so what will be the part of the poc i'll repeat what will be the part of the poc okay so the poc will include uh, the features the genai features uh, enabling on your uh, lawyer environment and then to show you so that you can show the same to your business team and to identify the fitments like what are the features can be adopted to your organization and what are the features we can keep it or drop it so these kind of decisions uh, we can take with the help of the pocs whichever we are going to enable so the next question is do we have to do any configuration to make a work in these pages i'll repeat do we have to do any configurations to make a work in these pages yes thanks for this question that's a valuable question interesting as well yes of course uh, we need to do some configurations uh, has to be done in the pages to make the aa available and if at all if you have customizations then the customizations also has to be uh, we need to redo the customizations in that page yeah so basically these activities will be uh, considered as a part of uh, this migration adoption plan whatever has been showcased uh, during our session 
So I hope she answered that question as well. Uh, so the next question is, is there any plan to give, uh, plan to have Gen AI for learning module? I repeat, is there any plan to have Gen AI for learning module? Uh, probably I'll check, I'll, I mean, I'll take it as a, uh, I'll check this uh, feature and get back to you on this part. Maha, please note down the customer name. Probably we can uh, revert back to them. Yeah, sure. So we have another question. Uh, Covian's adoption plan does not include a path for learn module. Is that Gen A use case in learn module? How long will it take to transit to transition the learn module to Redwood and Gen A? I'll repeat. Covian's adoption plan does not include the path of learn module. Is that a Gen A use case in learn module? How long will it take for the transition uh, the learn module to Redwood and Gen A? Yeah, transition of learn to Redwood uh, will be part of our second adoption plan, whatever we have showcased in the adoption plan use case. And the Gen AIs with the learn, which I just told, like I'll be checking with the, the product team and I'll be confirming you what are the Gen AI features available for learn. So here, migrating to Redwood is one activity and enabling the Gen AI, whatever is available in the particular module is another activity. So migration will be done and enabling the Gen AI will, will, uh, will be applicable or happening based upon the product features. Thanks for this, Shiva. So the next question is, is there any plan to have Gen AI for HR help desk? I'll repeat. Is there any plan to have Gen AI for HR help desk? Yes, Maha. Probably I, I may need to check the Gen AI, exclusive Gen AI features for HR help desk. I'll just check it and uh, we can revert back to that customer. Sure. So we can go to your question, sir, and uh, we'll get back to you very soon. And the next question is, is it support any other languages like Arabic? I'll repeat. Is it support any other languages like Arabic? Yes, I mean, uh, this product supports multi-languages. Uh, so this is nothing to do with the uh, NAAs or Redwood. It, it will come default as a part of your uh, package. Uh, so the next question is, can we use Gen AI in creating reports and dashboard? I'll repeat, can we use Gen AI in creating reports and dashboard? Yes, that feature is available. Uh, Devi, do you want to take this question? Gen AI for reports and analytics? I believe it is, it is something which will be launched soon. I can, because when Ankit presented FDIP during the session that we had, he mentioned that we have it at a high level, but uh, more robust features are going to be introduced soon. It's definitely in the pipeline. However, I can do a quick check and we can respond to the gentleman or the lady who has asked the query. Yeah, thanks, Devi. That helps. Thank you. Yeah. So uh, I think that's all the questions that we got from our uh, customers. I will quickly share my screen again. I hope my screen is visible. Yes, Maha. Yeah. Yes. So thanks again, Shiva. Thanks for uh, the detailed demonstration. And uh, we would like to discuss uh, the various business plans that you have, uh, the various uh, models that you want to roll out uh, in the upcoming months. Uh, so feel free to reach out to uh, any of your uh, customer success manager or the sales representative so that we can sit together and work out this plan uh, into a reality. And I thank every one of you uh, for taking your time today on this Friday to join us uh, at this webinar. And I do believe that you uh, have this webinar an informative section. And uh, for the upcoming webinars, we are looking forward to have you again. Thanks, everyone. Thanks for joining us today.